bag. Yeah, so there's a storm coming. We're gonna need the wind, the wind, uh, because it's getting windy. Where the phone is beeping crazily with weather alerts. Come on, Mike. Okay, that works. Hello. So, we are going to go walk over to the White House. We just watched Arsenal lose their home opener, so we're not in a good mood right now. We've uh, kind of goofed off all day taking care of the kids. That's a big storm coming. So they've been sending us alerts for the last half hour saying take shelter, basically. And uh, of course, <laughs> I'm not because <laughs> I'm an idiot. So um, we're going to go down here. Uh, I got an umbrella. On standby, but uh, we may end up in a subway station if it gets too out of control. Hello, hello. Congress is in recess? Yeah, this is the August recess. In fact, uh, the Biden just flew off to Camp David a couple hours ago. I think he's going to be there over the weekend. We haven't gotten a lot of guidance on the schedule for next week from the media. Um, because this week was so messed up. This week was just a mess, and then next week is not looking to be about that. Yeah, we're going to have a good thunderstorm. So the, uh, the situation in Afghanistan is unfolding poorly, and there's been some chatter that he may need to get back here next week, but we'll see. Yeah, it's August in Washington, D.C., and basically, yeah. <laughs> but we've also, like like we are just saying, we've got thunderstorm warnings coming. But it's pretty blue skies over there, yeah? But you can see some big clouds coming in, some gray ones. Secret Service, God, it's like a freaking, it's a parking lot. How many vehicles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> 12. There's like 12 vehicles for 12 officers. Yeah. So the White House is straight ahead. We're looking back to the west, which is where all our storms come from. Basically. And let's go over here. Is it normal for August? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty normal. What happens is we have really hot days. Today got up to 97 degrees and that just sort of puts a lot of uh, moisture in the atmosphere and then in the evening it usually explodes. <laughs> so yeah, two nil. It was rough. And I mean to be honest, Arsenal just wasn't even there. I mean it was just like, why? I mean Shaka, Shaka's awful. Not Saka, Shaka the other one. You always tell Secret Service vehicles because they got that funny little antenna on them. I don't know where these guys think they're going. They supposedly they repaved the road today. Yeah? So the road has been repaved. I think it's done. <laughs> this guy's got like an automatic weapon across his chest and he's on like traffic duty. So the road hmm, smells like fresh road. So. We are out here. This is West Executive Avenue. Wow. You can hear the thunder coming. Let me get another camera out real quick. Did you hear the thunder?
Okay, we got the second camera up and running. This street is reopened. This is Jackson Place. Yesterday they were still going to pave this. It looks like they paved everything. Everything is uh, pulled out at the same time. They're going actually into the White House compound. They think that's Biden. They're a little confused. There is a storm coming to DC. It's it's right up there. You can see it's going to get a bit hairy very very soon. Let's see what's going on at the White House today. So, according to the White House pool reporters, there's actually a lot of construction is underway which would be a sign he's not coming back for the next week or so. They're doing a lot of repairs. Now they had a major project on the South Lawn they did earlier this year, but it is connected to the project on the North Lawn. It's just been one of these ongoing things. Now somebody told me there was a protest going on, but I don't see any protest going on. I mean, no more than the normal protesters who are here all the time. Sharp snipers up there. Um, they were supposed to take, he was supposed to take this week off, but then the Senate came back for the infrastructure bill and the budget bill. Oh, so somebody, somebody wants you to scan their thing. Yeah, let me just tell you from a computer security standpoint, never scan a random QR code. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, it's getting darker. I hear Mustang Medic. Yeah, Mustang Medic's over there laughing. Storming there? Nah. We're supposed to get storms, but it's not happening yet, yeah? We're just kind of waiting. Which is annoying. So that's Mustang Medic over there, the other YouTuber. But he's not off YouTube now. He got he got banned or something. I think his channel just came back. The townhouses to the right. So those townhouses over there are part of the presidential compound, basically. Um, one of them is actually the yellow one that you can just sort of see. Hang on, let me, let me go get this. Let me go sit down for a second. One of those is actually called the presidential townhouse, and that is the official residence of former presidents of the United States. So, if a former president of the United States, like uh, Carter or Bush or Obama or Clinton, was to come to Washington D.C., they could stay at the presidential townhouse which is the yellow house. Hang on, let me zoom in here. That yellow house right there, that's the presidential townhouse. And then two down is the Trowbridge house, which is also available for former presidents. Now to date, I don't think any of the current presidents that are alive have stayed in either the presidential townhouse or Trowbridge house. Though I think Gerald Ford used to stay there uh, when he came back to Washington. When Bush Sr. took office, they actually went in there and took a look at it, and they were just kind of like, uh, no. It was like, it was like basically a, a mattress on the floor with a folding table. <laughs> like, guys, we need to fix this up. So they got some donations and they fixed that up. Most of these are small government agencies, like the Harry Truman Scholars and the Wilson Center or something like that. They're just like little random Council on Environmental Quality. Something like that. Ever close to a heat stroke? Hmm. You know, I don't really think I have. I think I'm pretty good on that. Um, yesterday I was quite warm, but I wasn't anywhere near a heat stroke. Um, I think I'm pretty regulated on that. 
what are the gray boards? Which, oh, over there? Um, they're just got a construction project over there. Let's go over there. That's just some construction hoarding. They've been doing a lot on telecommunications. So like up over there, that's the um, White House webcam. But then a guy who knows telecom here told me that the White House webcam, the system that works in those buildings, which is the Veterans Administration and stuff, they're actually all linked into the system here. So when they work on wires in one part of this park, you can often see the webcam go down. Are there guards at the gray board? There, um, at this exact second, I don't see one. But yesterday, I did see one guy standing by this gray board. We'll go over there. There's a guard shack right over here, yeah? Do the motorcades speed? Yes, they do. Hey, upstate New York. Yeah, yesterday, but a little bit of that was uh, just the camera. <laughs> I was pretty hot, but I wasn't, I wasn't actually that, like, steamed. I did get some sunburn. I, might, I didn't wear my Apple Watch yesterday, and I was working on my Apple Watch farmer's tan yesterday. <laughs> I got rid of a little bit of that. So let's go around. This is a guard house. Just had rain in Ohio. This is the Chamber of Commerce building here. This is like the private entity. That's the Hay Adams Hotel over there. Up there is the subway, Farragut, Farragut West and Farragut North. There's actually two subway stations up there about a block. There's the storm, it's still coming. Alabama. So this is the National Center for White House History. This is the White House Historical Society and the Stephen Decatur House. And I think they have another building here too. White House Historical Association. They're the ones that make the Christmas ornaments. This is this year's Christmas ornament from the White House Christmas Ornament Society. You can, uh, you can order these online. And they actually, it's a, it's a nonprofit. They use the money to pay for the artwork and furniture in the White House itself. So, and you can get a Christmas ornament from like any year from the last 30 years or so. Yeah. Okay, so we're here. I believe this is a conference center. So this is the Council on Environmental Quality. And I thought this was like the Truman Scholars Conference Center. But I actually think that this building, not what I've been told, yeah, Oh, the White House Conference Center. Yeah, this is the White House Conference Center. But what I've been told is that like all of these buildings are interconnected on the back end. Yeah. So like, yeah, you can go in the doors of these buildings, but they all like connect up together. The price of the Christmas tree is about $25, I think, 20 to $25. So this is the presidential townhouse. This is where former presidents can stay if they visit. This is the Harry S. Truman Scholarship Foundation. Kind of a random thing. And then this one here, 708 Jackson Place. This is Trowbridge House. And Trowbridge House is also available for former presidents. Now, all of these connect into each other. And back over to the side is the Blair House, which is the presidential guest house. So what's this one? The Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, 700 Jackson Place. So you see, it's like little bitty government agencies like that, quasi-government agencies, yeah? But they connect, all of these buildings connect on the back end to Blair House over here, which is the one with the green awning. Secret Service, no, they actually, um, they're actually pretty cool, the Secret Service guys. I think they just, I think, they, I think their coolness comes from their confidence, in the sense that they know what's going on, they know who's here, they don't fret the little stuff. Um, but they're actually pretty cool.
So this is Blair House. This is the official guest residence of the president. It's where foreign heads of state will stay. When the White House was being renovated in the Truman administration, Truman actually stayed here. And guess what? There was a terrorist attack. They tried to kill Harry Truman. But this guy over here, Leslie Caulfield, who was a White House police officer, he actually ran out into the street where the terrorists were, and the terrorists actually turned and they had a little gunfight. And while they were having a gunfight, the Secret Service manned the windows uh, with machine guns. In fact, I read they actually had a Tommy gun, you know, one of those big, like, gangster movie Tommy guns. And uh, they stormed into the bedroom. Truman's looking out the window like, hey, what's going on? Secret Service is like, get out! And uh, doing, you know, all right, they went out and started returning fire against the terrorists. Puerto Rican nationalists. So, hey, Oregon. That is where Kamala Harris stayed for the first 90 days of the administration, basically. All righty, so, um, okay guys, what do you want? Here's what we can do. I do have an umbrella. I can go back over there where all the tourists are, or we can walk around the executive office building and I take you to the south side and we see, actually, you know, it's probably gonna look a lot cooler down there. You know what, let's go down that side because that way we can see the storm coming better, yeah? Because we'll be able to see the storm up over the sky. You know what's actually cool is like if you have like nieces or nephews or something, you can buy the White House Christmas ornament the year they were born. And it's just sort of a unique gift. Some of them are really cool. Like two or three years ago, it was a helicopter. <laughs> it was like the 50th anniversary of Marine One. So the Christmas ornament was actually a helicopter. It was so awesome. And then one year they had a fire truck and then the Christmas tree and other stuff. So this is the old executive office building. This is where the vast overwhelming majority of the White House staff actually have their office. If you meet somebody who works for the administration, they're like, where do you work? And they're like, I work at the White House. But the reality is their office is in this building. <laughs> White House is sort of a colloquialism for the executive branch. It's not actually a place location where when you talk about someone, where do they work? Ooh, see that blinky, blinky orange light? It means somebody, some, something went over the fence. That goes off by mistake all the time. In fact, I've heard it go off and I've seen Secret Service look over at it like a beat cop would look at like a car alarm. Just kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, this is all so we're gonna go down the south side, check out what's going on over there, yeah? Oop, motorcycle gang of nerds. That's what I call a bunch of guys on scooters. It is, it's called, it's nicknamed as the Wedding Cake Building. Uh, it was used by the State Department and the Department of War or the Navy or something like that. There's actually talk of tearing it down at one point, but people are like, are you kidding me? It's awesome. So, it was not torn down. All right, so we're on 17th Street. So, big up there, like right there. You on your bikes? Oh, uh, I can't show it to you. It's behind all that construction hoarding. So over there is a bar called The Exchange. And The Exchange prides itself on being the oldest sports bar in Washington, D.C. The Exchange was set up by two Czechoslovakian expats. And The Exchange hosted a couple's night at The Exchange. You guys getting my drift here? Yeah, all right. Because they were very happy to welcome, I guess it was called Washington Couples to the exchange, as the two Czechoslovakians who ran the place were actually working for the Czechoslovakian intelligence agency, basically, as freelance spies, collecting dirt on White House personnel who would come to the exchange as a couple and use that information to try to blackmail them. Yeah, really crazy stuff. The exchange is still there. They got pretty good hamburgers. Uh, I don't know if they still have couples night. <laughs> but a little bit of espionage history. Guess what? It's raining. Wonder Twin Powers activate. Form of an umbrella. How dare those Czechoslovakian agents would use 
use that sort of information for nefarious purposes. Guess what? It's raining. actually have a motorcade forming. Um, the vice president is going to be coming out sometime soon. Let's just kick back here for a second. Um, I have two cameras running. This is the gimbal camera and then I'm using uh, just my iPhone in my hand for the live stream because it's too hard to live stream. So the, the presence of all those police bicycles, the presence of, there's a DC cop car, there's a police car here. The vice president is probably going to be going home soon. Uh, they're probably going to have a motorcade depart. 547. They're pretty on time, so maybe about 6. Oh, see? I told you. It goes off all the time. Honestly, I think the rain sets off the motion detector. And you can see the police are just so jumping into action <laughs> because it's so annoying those things go off all the time uh, that building there is the Eisenhower executive office building this building over here is the Corcoran gallery of art which is now part of George Washington University's um, uh, school of art it used to be a private art gallery but now it's it's uh, part of this school I don't know if it, how it, what its relationship is. Well, look at the rain. Can you guys see this rain? Can you see the rain coming down? Hang on. So it's um it's pouring, yeah. So. I think we might just stay under the tree a little bit. Literally at the last second I grabbed my umbrella. That's the American Red Cross headquarters over there. It is raining pretty, pretty ickily now. A little hesitant about going out there because we do have lightning and thunder. Don't think about it. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna have a wet foot tonight. I did park pretty close. People do leave the scooters pretty much all the place and then you just grab another one. In fact, I was looking at that scooter kind of saying to myself, hmm. But honestly, scooters in the rain are, are, are they're kind of a bear, yeah? They're kind of tricky. I wonder if they're gonna run a motorcade, if they'll run motorcycles in this weather. Usually they do. Thickly, yeah, I kind of made that word up. Yeah, there's the motorcycle crew. They've already donned their, uh, they've already put on their rain gear. So the DC police motorcycle escort is lined up over there. They're not on their bikes yet. I don't think the vice president is in the car yet, but her, uh, her motorcade is gonna come out shortly. I would imagine, God, this rain's really picking up. switch you guys just hang with me I'm gonna switch my backpack to the front to a front pack 
Ugh. so it doesn't get as wet. There's an ambulance over there, but that's pretty common. That road leads to George Washington University Hospital. So ambulances over there are pretty heavy, pretty normal. It is raining pretty decently. We're, we're told to expect big winds and everything, but that hasn't really materialized. It's just, just a lot of rain, yeah? Oh, that's just the ambulance echo. Oh, and the echo of that motion detector that they don't care about. <laughs> Okay. Oh. I bicycle you get that rooster tail, you know, with the water coming up your back and everything. That would be kind of awful. So. Uh, you know, I've had right there. Uh. <laughs> There's your white house. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. If you go to the other side, you can get closer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the other side's more. It's about, about half the distance. But it's a bit of a hike. Well, I want to see the, to see the front of it, you know? Well, there's a big debate which side's the front. Some oh, people, really? Yeah, they, they say north side and south side. Nobody really knows officially which is the front. No kidding. Well, from what I've been told, based on the history of the, the architect, the front of a house faces the water. And the water, yeah, this, this used to be so the Potomac. Great. So, uh, basically, yeah, pretty much everything you see down there is landfill. But then, based on American culture, the front of the house is where the car comes in, where the street address is, and that's the other side. And then what some Secret Service guys, well, Secret Service told me that they don't declare either side the front because they don't want to offend a foreign dignitary no matter which side he arrives at. So, it's a big debate. <laughs> By the way, if you're curious, uh, the vice president's about to leave in a motorcade in about five minutes or so. Oh, really? So if you go over, you see that police car with the blue light? Yep. He's setting up to block the road for her motorcade. So if you're over there in a bit, you'll see it. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nobody here for that stuff. Well, the motorcade will be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I do have to get in. It's getting a little bit red. So there's quite a bit of construction out here. There's a lot of lawn maintenance trucks over there. And there's these, yeah, have fun. There's these big diggers over here. I, I got my I got my umbrella today, yeah. There's a bunch of diggers that have been digging. That I believe is the telecommunications project upgrade. This green fence here, I don't know what that is. The green fence over there is part of the fence renewal. Then there's another fence renewal. And then there's been a lot of landscaping work being done. So it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, a lot of stuff going on. So, hmm. Vice President, or the President is not in today. The President is up at Camp David. By the way, that's the presidential beehive, I've decided. It looks like a beehive. So, let's go see the lightning. Well, big lightning, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, stay here long enough, it'll hit it, I'm sure. <laughs> So they're waiting for lightning to hit the Washington Monument, which, hey, the rain just stopped. I think it's a plot. I think the rain's to suck people out. There's some lightning over there. You see that? Bonjour, Perry. Bonsoir. Ça va? The Christmas tree is gone, Jim. The Christmas tree was just dug up. They gave up. Oh. So we're gonna mosey on down this way, back to the motorcade scene. Oh, I hear him. I heard a motorcycle. Maybe it's the thunder. Or maybe I just missed the motorcade. Maybe it's a bunch of Harleys going by. No, motorcade motorcycles are still there. They're not on them yet. 
I think we gotta, I'd keep playing. I don't think the heavy stuff is coming down for a while now. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more storms out there, I think. They said by like six something, we were gonna be like toast. Um, I don't know why they haven't visited yet. That's a good question. Well, let's put this way. They haven't visited that we know about. Severe warning expires in 48 minutes. We're getting weather alerts while we do this. Cinderella story. About to win the monsters at Augusta. It's in the hole. <laughs> London. I haven't been to London in so long. Miss it very much. Though all the restaurants I used to go to are probably gone. That's the Corcoran Gallery of Art. Yeah, we'll go around. I, think I haven't been in London in like, God, seven years probably. No, I've passed through a few times. I haven't like run around much in, a, in over five, six years. It's a shame. I'm actually a season ticket holder at the Emirates for Arsenal, but I never get back. This year I actually took a season ticket break because uh, due to COVID, I just didn't think it would be worth having season tickets. It's so hard to travel. Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner that I think London's great. <whistles> what time with the tape? Korean tacos are good. Okay. So, hmm, let's go back around. No motorcade yet. Five seconds. We can wait five seconds. I don't even know what that building is. It's like, it used to be the federal... Oh, that's a motorcycle. I thought that was thunder. Like the FDIC. Ugh. I just got splashed. Uh, let's go over this way. You know, once you have New Zealand, Australian fish and chips, it's really hard to go back to British fish and chips. Sorry, England, but Kiwis, they really know how to make fish and chips. So while there is the motorcade coming, it's gonna be a while. So I'm tempted to hang out, but it just kind of annoys the Secret Service. Oh, interesting. Maybe they'll do that. This guy's got his car like Knight Rider or something. There we go. It really smells out here because the steam tunnels underneath have this musty, dank water smell percolating up through the roads. Ugh. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I think I'm making dumplings. Um, yeah, I mean, this is rush hour, yeah, but with DC so closed up, 
there's just not a lot of traffic anymore in rush hour. It's just kind of how it is. So I mentioned, yeah, this is the FDIC. This is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. These are the guys who insure your banks. So you know that little thing, your deposits are secured up to $100,000. That's the FDIC. Yeah, I didn't eat very well today. What did I eat today? I had some, I went to a, went out to the Vietnamese strip mall to get some noodles. And I ended up eating some Chinese dim sum <laughs> and some Hong Kong bakery stuff. So this building, the Winder building, this is the US Trade Representative's office. USTR. What time is it anyway? Ah, six o'clock. I think the, well, if her motorcade was going at six, they'd be closing the roads now. So I think she's gonna go a bit later. And I'm not gonna stick around. I filmed three or four motorcades this week and one Marine One landing. I think you guys have seen enough of that for this week. I do miss Hong Kong food. DC is usually a traffic nightmare, that is correct, but it hasn't been since COVID. There goes, see, I think these alarms just freak out in the rain. Uh, is this one of these button ones I gotta push? It is. It did cool things down. It was 97 degrees earlier, and when I got out of the car, it was like 83 or something. It's still very humid. And actually, it's starting to pick up rain again. I've got that Gucci foot feeling, you know? Where, you're, where your socks are wet, and it's just like, every step is like... <laughs> Yeah, it's that kind of feeling right now. And I haven't actually stepped in a puddle. It's just the rain was falling under the umbrella, yeah? Under the penumbra of the umbrella. That's your word of the day, penumbra. The shadow under a mushroom is in the penumbra of the mushroom. Hey, Nova Scotia, how you doing? You like that feeling? Eey. I guess it's okay if you're barefoot. I wouldn't go barefoot in DC. I mean, I don't know, a hypodermic needle or something. You know, it looks like it's raining a lot harder on the other side of the street than it is on this side of the street. It's like, oh, hey, seriously. I think it's like much harder rain over there. Can you guys hear it on the umbrella? It's like, I have chosen wisely. Oh God, I'm about to go into it. Now it's raining hard on both sides of the street. Look at that rain. Yeah, we're back to the back or the front or whatever you want to call it as I was explaining to the tourists. Who knows? Do I ever go out at night? Uh, not often. I'm usually with my kids at night. In fact, this is a bit late for me.
Uh, I have been a tour, I've done a couple at Arlington National Cemetery in the past, but I do want to go back there. I found a, found out a, wow, look at this. I found a gravestone I wanted to go visit. Look at all, you can tell this is like newly oiled, yeah? Look at that. It's like just, just rolling off it. Like, oh, hello. The uh, vice president's limousine, her is right there. See that one with the uh, tail lights on? That's it. So she's getting ready to go. In a bit. It is like an oil slick. Can you imagine driving on that? How slippery it must be, a brand new road like that? My wife is texting me nasty messages. She's upset about the son's math tutor. So if we get disconnected, it's because my wife is calling to scream at me. <laughs> it's nothing like nefarious. Oh. Oh, are they going? No, that's an ambulance. I see my Mustang medics over here. He's still broadcasting. Oh. So, I tell you what, I'm gonna probably finish up here. We'll maybe make a little bit more video and then show you what else is going on. Hey, he's got a guy selling umbrellas. That guy's a true capitalist. So there we are. At the White House, as the storms come closer and closer, the rain comes closer and closer. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, I'm probably not going to have a video tonight. I don't have enough stuff to make a video, but if something interesting happens, maybe I'll put up a short or something like that. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if there's any more interesting storm stuff, maybe I'll show you that. But uh, right now, I think we're gonna go home and make dinner. Yeah, it's pretty mellow right now in the rain. Still, still a few people. So. Oh, that's killing me. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, storm is still coming down. All right, bye-bye.